Hey everybody, it's Michael at Gotch Rocks, and today I'm in the, uh, the depths of the uh, our basement here. And this is where I have my big slab saw and some of my uh, vibratory tumblers. And today I just want to show you, I'm working on some uh, Rocky Butte Jasper. So I'm just going to show you uh, how we slab that up. All right. So here's the uh, Rocky Butte uh, Jasper. So it's really kind of cool. It's got all these uh, different little reds and blues and greens in it. So I think these patterns, uh, once it's cut, uh, are going to look great as caps. So what I'm going to do is actually put it into our slab saw here. I'll show you what's in here. And so we've got our big diamond blade here. And then this part here will actually clamp in the stone and then it will actually be auto fed into the blade as it's running. So I'll kind of show you what we've got going on here. So we've got this uh, part here. This is kind of, looks like a giant screw and it just pulls this into the blade. Now this can take anywhere from eight minutes all the way up to 12 minutes if it's getting a lot of pressure on this blade here. Um, as it's pushing through, it will, kind of, it has a little clutch on it right here. So it'll just kind of pop that until it can cut through properly. Hey guys, if you uh, haven't subscribed already, uh, please do so. And if you'd give me a like, that'd be super awesome. If you have any questions at all, seriously, um, put them in the comments. Um, do you already cut stones? Uh, are you thinking about getting a slab saw and things like that? Also, I'll put the link to the machine that I use that I've had for about four years and it's been absolutely great. Uh, I think I've only had to change the blade maybe once and I cut a lot of stones. So anyway, uh, be sure to check that out and we'll see you when we're done with this slab. All right, bye. The other thing that's kind of neat about this is that you can undo these little thumb screws and then it has this little thing. And this will take this part back and forth. So you can just set the stone up once and then adjust it into the blade and cut off, let's just say quarter inch or half inch or whatever it would be. So that's what's kind of neat about this. So what I'm going to do is set up uh, the Jasper in this and I'll let you watch along. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just back this all the way up. So it goes this way. All right, so we're going to set that there. Next, we're going to undo these just kind of roll them up, give ourselves lots of room here. And this has a little padding under here that will um, kind of really grab the stone. So what I want to do is just kind of get this in a nice flat space so that once I clamp these down, uh, this isn't going to move this way or this way during the cutting, which will really screw up your blade. So I want to stick out about that much. And we're going to just kind of clamp this down like so. And I like to put this right in the middle. Every once in a while, if you have a big gap or something like that, I have these little pieces of wood like this that I'll jam in here. This one, I don't think I need it, but we'll find out. And you want this really tight. Do a little bit on each side. And then what I do is I take these vice grips and I just go like this. Really torque down on it. Because if this thing comes loose uh, during cutting, you're going to have a big problem. You're going to wreck your blade. You're probably going to wreck your arbor. You're going to wreck a few things. So just make sure you can go like this. And that's nice and tight. All right, so next we're going to hit this clutch on the side here. We're just going to go like this. And we're just going to see where it meets the blade. So I'm actually going to push this out just a little bit. Back this up just a little. Take your time on this one. My first cut, I just want a nice clean cut here, and then I'll start really dividing up uh, how much width or depth I want on each slab. So right here, I'm just going to do this end part, okay? So I'm going to tighten down these thumb screws here. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to tighten down these thumb screws here. 
here. And this is the clutch that I was doing where I was moving things back and forth. I release it, now it's against the blade. We don't want it to touch the blade, so we're just gonna back it up just a little bit. Okay. All right, so I like to get as close as possible. Looks good to me. Everything's tight. Thumb screws are tight. Double check everything. Make sure there's nothing stuck in the blade or anything like that. Everything looks good. Um, my oil is getting a little bit dirty, uh, but we're, we'll deal with that later. It'll still cut very well. Shut your lid first, okay? Now, I have on the top of my saw, I just wrote this all on here so that if anybody else needed to stop this, they found me unconscious or something. Um, you wanna turn on the saw blade first and then turn on the feed, which is here, which are these switches here. So we're gonna turn on the blade first and then when you shut this off, you do it in reverse. So here we go. Okay. Now there's a little window here uh, that you'll be able to see what's going on. So I'll see if I can get a shot of that. All right, so once this is done, now I'm gonna come over here to my feed. It has one feed switch here, so I'm switching this to on, which is this way. And then on the other side, it has a, kind of a safety feed. So we're gonna turn that one on. So at this point, the, uh, the stone is actually moving this way towards the blade. So at this point, you just wait. Um, so I always kind of stay close by so that I can hear if there's any sort of weird changes in the sound or anything like that, which would usually mean maybe uh, a piece of the stone broke off and it's like kind of grinding against the wheel. You just want to check it. So it should sound kind of like it sounds right now. Kind of loud, but not too loud. And uh, so we're just going to watch it. I'll get a couple shots of it when it gets about halfway through, just so you can see. All right. See you in a minute. shut this off so now everything's nice and quiet so what we did is turn off the main feed first then we did the motor 
and I always just wait, you know, five, six, ten seconds, just to make sure that the the stone that's clamped in there, that's pushed against that blade, um, isn't hung up on it. So we don't want the blade to start slowing down when it's hung up on a stone that's going to cause damage. So that's my only advice there. So let's take a look at uh, the stone itself. Okay, everybody, um, once, once you've stopped your machine, I always just wait a little bit. You know, there's going to be oil everywhere inside here. So just let it kind of drain down the sides. When you open this up, you'll get a few little drips and things like that. Um, what I'm going to do right now is just take the clutch and we're going to pull this back. So now it's away from the stone. You're going to have oil on your hands. Um, I use a certain kind of oil. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but let's take a look at our slabbed piece. So this is it here. So now we can just readjust this. I'll show you this in a sec, but um, we can readjust it. We just undo these thumb screws. And I like to do one, two, three, four, and then we'll just check it. So we did four cranks on this going this way, uh, just to push the stone back into the blade. So uh, it just depends on how thick you want your slab piece. So I've had them where I'm actually trying to cut uh, pieces of stone that are like literally one millimeter and I've had others where I'm doing like quarter inch or half inch so just depends so I'm gonna adjust this and um, then we can set this up for the next one but uh, let's just take a look at the stone and you just repeat this process okay okay so here is the the cut stone uh, this is the Rocky Mount or Rocky Butte Jasper and you can see that there's some really nice patterns in here. So this will make a great cab. So I'll show you the other side as well. So, you know, as I go through this stone, we're gonna see all kinds of different patterns and things like that. And that's kind of one of the exciting things about having a slab saw and um, just kind of amazing what's in all these um, jaspers and agates and all that. So anyways, that's all I have for today. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please do like, um, share this with your friends, uh, put it up on a billboard. That'd be awesome. Okay. Take care guys.